and welcome back to the second video series on the Jewel School of Fish app on how to have fun and learn about computational thinking skills with your child. Now, studies have shown that children learn best when they're having fun, and we hope to achieve this through our set of online games, physical activities, and storytelling. In our digital curriculum, our lesson plan involves a three-step process. First, we use videos and animations to introduce and explain concepts to the child. Second, the child will then explore and play the associated games to apply the concepts introduced on their own. Thirdly, reinforce their learning through sharing on how these concepts can be applied in their daily life. Now to start this series on algorithmic thinking, we'll start with episode three. So let's roll the clip now. Right there. Huh. Oh, <laughs> hey kids, you're he- Whoa! Wow! Ow! Ugh! Ugh! Ah, shucks. I spent hours putting these letters up on the wall. Huh. Eh, oh well. I'll just get back to it later. Hello, kids. It's me, Doodle. You are looking great today. Shall we start? Oh, <gasps> great. Cool. We are going on an adventure today. Are you guys excited? Yay! I am excited too. But before that, I'll be teaching you algorithmic thinking. Repeat after me. L go rhythmic thinking. Algorithmic thinking. It's so easy. Learning can be so much fun. L go rhythm mic think ing. But what does it mean? It means you need to think in steps. Step by step to achieve your target. Step by step from A to B. Look, I'm hopping from A to B. Hmm, let me think if I can give you a few examples of algorithm in real life. Can you think of a few examples too? Hmm, let me think. Hmm. Ooh, aha, I got one. How about wearing your shoes? Do any one of you wear your socks after wearing your shoes? No, that would be very silly. <laughs> to wear your shoes properly, first you have to put on your socks, then you wear your shoes. Step by step. See? Step by step. Let me think of another example. Hmm. Aha! Making a hamburger is also a very good example. Making a hamburger is an algorithm, too. Let me explain. By the way, I love hamburgers. So, first, I have to slice the bun into two. Next, we add in lettuce and tomato. Eat your vegetables, kids. So, children, what do you think is the final ingredient? Yes, correct. Meet Patty. Yes. <gasps> Ta-da. Step-by-step -step deliciousness. Mmm, that looks so yummy. <gasps> Yay! It's time for lunch. I'm going to eat this hamburger today. Step-by-step. -step. See you guys later. Now, it's time to engage your child with the Pearly Whirly game. So let's play the clip on how the game works so that you can explain it if your child needs more help in understanding this type of gameplay. The Pearly Whirly game is about Miss Puffin, the puffer fish, who is looking for help to collect pearls for her sister's birthday. And your buddy has volunteered to help her look for these pearls. The objective of the game Pearly Whirly is to travel from A to B, and along the way, find the optimal route to collect the pearls for Miss Puffin. 
Curly Whirly teaches the computational thinking concept of algorithmic thinking, which in coding means to follow a set of instructions or rules in a sequential manner, or as Doodle says in his video, step by step. Oh, thank goodness you're both okay. Oh, it is me, Sally. Haha, <laughs> I can choose to be anywhere. I am a super robot. The crash has broken my propellers. Let us explore the area and see what we can find to fix it. Hello there. My name is Miss Puffin. Nice to meet you. I am looking for pearls from the Clam Clans. They said they are willing to share their pearls if I can find them. I wish to make a pearl necklace <laughs> as it is my sister's birthday. But I am having a hard time finding one. This place is like a maze. Will you help me? Please? Perfect! You three are such darlings. Pearly Whirly teaches the computational thinking concept of algorithmic thinking, which in coding means to follow a set of instructions or rules in a sequential manner, or as Doodle says in his video, step by step. Now let's go through an example. Here at level 20 of Pearly Whirly, first, note the instruction panel on the left hand side of the screen. Next, we need to provide a set of instructions to your buddy so that he can reach the other side of the path and collect the pearl. Your buddy's first move is to go straight. Then he has to either turn left or right. We now therefore have to plan the route for your buddy, tapping left, then right, then right again, and finally a left. We now press the go button and let's see if this is the right set of instructions. Yippee! We have collected a pearl. If your buddy appears on a screen, just tap the screen to high five him back. It's easy. Step by step instructions to learn algorithmic thinking. And as there are 100 yeah. levels in each game, Pearly Whirly will get more and more complicated. Go on, have a try. Your trial should try to reduce the number of turns to avoid overcomplications. Both the parent and the child can play the game, preferably on separate occasions. The parent should first focus on your child, and he can play the games later secretly to see how you fare against the harder levels to see if you're smart enough. And if your child managed to reach level 100, you know you've got a genius in your home. As a final step to the activity, the parent or teacher needs to reinforce your child's understanding of algorithmic thinking. The best thing to do is share some off-screen and hands-on activities and then ask your child to list the steps and sequence for them. For example, what are the steps required to get ready for school after they wake up in the morning? First, you brush your teeth, say good morning to your parents, wear your uniform, and have breakfast. Now I know Doodle's favorite activity is how to cook a good burger. This is all up to interpretation on what and how you want to teach your child whether it's going out to play, how to prepare for their favorite activity. And that's all we have for the second series on how to teach algorithmic thinking to your child. See you guys in the next video on how to teach decomposition. Bye!